Christ out my kids back in the day. Like, my kids had all type of uh, nannies and stuff over there. But well, yeah, no, that's. I got a strong like, support system. Yeah. My mother is mm-hmm. awesome. She's been awesome. Shout out to, shout out to her mom. Rebecca Ann, aka Birdie Keller. Okay, Birdie Keller. <laughs> she got all the talent. What did it go for? What did you do? My mother does, but she hides it. She's a poet also. My mother is awesome. Oh, so um, she has books at the library in Danville. Um, wow. She's awesome. Uh, she has had done some artwork on the walls at DAC, but I don't think they're there anymore. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, she, wow. yeah, she's very talented. But that's where I know that stuff traveled through. The <coughs> but my dad was awesome too. My dad was a portrait artist. Uh-huh. Um, so he was that? amazing. Stuff that he did was amazing, but he's passed away. So. Uh huh. Well, rest in peace. Rest oh, while well, you saying that, I like uh, give oh, condolences yeah. to Tamika Davis, Nunez, and Felipe, and her family. Her father passed away last week. They had his funeral today, so give yeah. our condolences and sympathies, and stay strong and move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Let me check out your painting. So, look at you. Did you give her a question? I got it. <laughs> no, we was just saying, we were talking about her support system. Tell us, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Tell us tell us how art can help the youth motivate their minds. Oh, ooh, that's ooh. a good question. Um, that, that can be very inspirational. It can change you a lot. It, mm-hmm. I think that as kids, it could be an outlet. Mm-hmm. It's a creative outlet. I think a lot of times they get stifled. And that could be a way that you can blossom them out and get them into showing them something different. Because okay. there's so much in the world that they could explore and learn from. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So since a lot of people are doing paint and sips or something, maybe somebody could switch it over to do. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> Leave her alone while she answering a question. Yeah. I was like, a lot of people are doing paint and sips. Maybe somebody could switch it a little bit and do something with you. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's an idea. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be a beautiful Almost, idea. Because uh, there's a lot out there, and talking from even just doing hair and people bringing their children, and they see my work and want to draw me their artwork and stuff. Mm-hmm. In Peoria, yeah. the little kids across the street saw me outside painting and came across and showed me their artwork. So it is. There's a lot of kids out there, and there's a lot of talented children. Yeah, you heard that all art. art. What's they say? All art is connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all. Every every shape, form, and fashion, all are connected. Yeah, because each one is an inspiration off another one. It feeds off another one. It all, mm-hmm. It's all sort of connected. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Especially yeah. like when you uh, singing. I want to see that movie by dude that created jazz. Oh yeah. Like what kind of music like? I like everything. 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 I'm so you like rock and roll? Yes. Who you like? 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 Oh, I'm uh. See, I can't. Nirvana. I like, uh, like Nirvana. I like Nirvana. I love too. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. Uh, Nickelback. 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 One man. Um, oh, gosh. I can't, I can't get to your picture. I don't know how I wrote this stuff. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there goes some right there. Some of my portrait right, right there. Oh, yeah. let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Like so, I you like have been doing there. the paintings for how long now? It's been. Uh, been three years right now three years mm-hmm. and that's just something i discovered did you do a nipsey hustle type yes. of tribute to yes i did that was commissioned that was from my friend carla my biggest supporter shout out to carla's free will all right yes yes um, she's my biggest supporter uh-huh. um that was a gift for her mm-hmm. fiance mm-hmm. paul yeah so that was awesome to have that opportunity mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah that yes was that was, was my biggest work yet, so that was uh-huh. fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was real nice. The next big work like we, we do our portrait. <laughs> Put us one of the stars. Make sure you pay for this. I ain't gonna pay for it. I ain't gonna have to. Okay. Look at you. And then we gonna fire Heather. Man, Tiger gonna take over. Don't try to go back and get another. She know me too well. You. I ain't gonna go there. Anyway, what you got your take on on like like the youth? curve their appetite from, from the things they're doing right now mm-hmm. by you being a mother yeah. I think that it all if they to me it all starts at home also mm-hmm. um, parents have to talk to their children right. actually be there for your children mm-hmm. um, also allow kids to um, allow kids to 
have their own personalities and be themselves. A lot of, yeah. lot of times people don't let them do that mm -hmm. uh, right. or get that, or family members may talk about you because you do that, but let your children be creative and have their own selves. That's how I deal with mine. I, they mess with mine about the stuff that they were allowed to do, but it wasn't anything bad. It yeah, was just yeah. that my daughter liked colored hair and she liked color contacts. You my like son, color hair? Yeah, she, when she was younger. She yeah. had every color in the rainbow. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought she was young. Okay. Uh, I'm 24. Yeah. She's still young. Still young, but I thought she was about 16. Man. No. So okay. someone wants to know. What's your Instagram? Someone Instagram. wants to know I your Instagram. I got to. I have to make one. Your website? I'm behind. Yeah, you you go. Go. yeah she your got I'm making it. She's wearing all of that. It's yes. soon. I'm doing it. She's. It's coming. Instagram is wonderful for artists. Okay. Oh okay. my gosh. Okay. You talking about Facebook? I mm -hmm. love you. Instagram okay. is out of this okay. world. Okay. You're gonna reach everybody, anybody, and more. Okay. I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited. Yes. Also, I do um do um call pro bono. I guess okay. uh, work for different situations, different people. Uh huh. Um, have a mother that lost a daughter who was nine, which I'll be doing a portrait for her mm -hmm. free of charge and sending that to her. Oh, and I try work. to do one at least once a month. Oh, so, okay. And that's a constant thing that I do. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Gotta give back. That's Come good. on in. That's so, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Come on in. I want to know how long does these portraits take you? Because we had uh, Brit Joni in here a couple of uh, weeks ago. She's mm -hmm. uh, an author, mm -hmm. and she gets her days where she can just write some oh, stuff out, yes. and then she gets then those writer blocks. Like, yeah, I don't so mess with anything. Yeah. like, how is it with you? You know, I mean, I know you get your days. Oh, I like that. I know, yes. you know. That's her. That's her. Oh, that's you. So, yes. That's yeah. you, her girl. So, how? <laughs> I um it depends. Uh, yeah, okay. I have a time period where usually it takes me two days to a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh huh. And then I also give myself a break after that. I uh, usually work by deadlines, which okay. helps me a lot. Okay. Okay. That helps me a lot. That's that's a force right there yeah, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you put then, a deadline on. Uh huh. See, I'm okay. gonna start doing that. I put you my, just gave me. Yes, I put a deadline on it. Yes. Heather, yes. you know me for that. Heather, keep talking. Did you finish? I'll be like, no. Facebook. She's uh, Anna somebody, somebody Kirsten. Kirsten. Mm -hmm. Anna Kirsten, and uh, you can find her. Um, I did. So. I do believe. Yeah, I linked her on my uh. Facebook page just recently when I did the actual event or the flyer. Okay. Yes, I so, work by deadlines. When I push myself for a deadline, uh -huh. um, do my outlines first, mm -hmm. and then just if I get bored with one, switch right. to another, do a little bit on another one, and that's how I get things done. I get them done back to back. That okay. Way. Yeah. Man, so I'm deadlines gonna... work for me. I want right. you to come work for me. <laughs> you don't no, have to work for me. No, no, no. I got an airbrush. And stuff. I, I want to, but I've never done it before. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. I, I would love to. I think if I turn to. you loose on this brush, boy. I would love to. I haven't she tried it yet. I know. I ain't that thing y'all do tonight, man. So, did you, um, I know you said like you started this. young. Mm -hmm. um, and most artists are self-taught. Are you self-taught? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And you can draw... I mean, no, you can't draw. I can draw a little. Draw I can do cartoons bit. and stuff like okay. that, but okay. not a pro. I haven't done a person. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I can paint a person. Go into the yeah. self talk. How did okay. you teach yourself? Oh, trial and error. Uh, started with, uh, like I said, I was determined to put my grandbabies on canvas. Okay. Ooh, the first one, it was okay. Mm -hmm. The second one was on point, and I'm like, okay, that's, I got a little, okay, let's try this again. Yeah. yeah. So that was inspiration. Oh, that's the, mm -hmm. that's the mm -hmm. yeah. Those are my first portraits right yes, there. She has a long. You did that too? That's the one. Yeah, that's the one that's in Atlanta. I she has got a, that. <laughs> she's a, she has Which a lot of portraits. That's Rick's media. You know that yep. was started off as a picture from Family Dollar, and mm. I redid the whole picture. Wow. That's nice though. And that's my son drinking coffee. Right wow. There. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And that's my little nephew right there. Even with the imperfections, 
even with the it's not being yeah, so that's perfect. That was my first no, one. It's it's sad. Cause it's, it's your art. It's your I I know, but with art, I used to say like I used to erase certain lines, and my yeah. teacher used to tell me, "No, don't erase lines. Right, right. You know right. that's not what you're supposed to do because all of it is good and nice." And you had a good teacher. Is. I did not. Okay, I had a teacher that um taught me something that, that took a kind of stifled. In high school, I took mm -hmm. finally sprayed myself up to take an art class. Yeah, didn't like it. Mm. Did not like it. At the teacher all. wasn't mm -hmm. good. Mm -mm. Mm. It was always you're doing something wrong and all. Oh. You can't. Art is art. It's how it's art your natural is, yeah. thing. When you tell somebody that, they're mm -hmm. gonna put mm -hmm. them in a box. And yeah, so for a minute I was in a box. Yeah. So it was like, okay, that's why it was coming back out and trying things my way. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense, man. I don't yeah. like that. Art, mm -hmm. art is art. Mm -hmm. yeah. I you taught know? myself about tracing comic books. Oh, really? Okay. That's okay. how I found out how to shadow and put okay. the highlights. Because I said, okay, the shadow will go here on this side. Mm -hmm. and then the backlight will come on with a shadow. Right, right. Then where the darkest shadow meet is the light. Mm -hmm. The light, the lightest light will meet the darkest area. Mm -hmm. So when I picked that up, those patterns, then I said, okay, I got the patterns. Mm -hmm. And when I was drawing faces, you really starting in the middle. Of the, of the head with mm -hmm. the eyes and then from there I just yeah, yeah. Put those little tricks that we learned I said mm -hmm. okay I got it yeah it's all you gotta get your it's your own style and your own way yeah I mm -hmm. like yours so yours with, got a blend to it I like that I'm still okay. learning I'm you still learning how still to blend learning. this yes. stuff too I'm still wow. learning wow well, so I'm having fun you, that was a bag I sent to that was on a tote bag for my amazing. cousin in Maryland it's mm -hmm. amazing oh, right. yes mm -hmm. yeah the mm -hmm. imperfections I I started was taught. that shower curtain painting. I start I paint on anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. do you you're gonna eventually get an Instagram? You're gonna eventually mm -hmm. get um, yeah. a Someone website. Um, <laughs> you're gonna <clears throat> you're gonna start selling certain things mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is all within three years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's wow. Been, it's been an amazing journey. Wow. An amazing journey. Wow, and having fun. Having having fun. fun. Yes. yes, I've been enjoying it. Mhm, mm mm -hmm. So you you do hair mostly throughout mm -hmm. the day, mm -hmm. but your passion and what you like to do mm -hmm. and releasing yes. whatever it may be is your art. Yes, that's finding my voice. Wow. Finally finding my voice. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, that's powerful. Finding your voice. Yes. So I've been stifled your... for a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. go into that. Well, what happened, uh, ooh, like, you ain't got to say your art thing ooh, now. We got to well, talk about all of well, it. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm a domestic abuse survivor. So, Amen. Um, Amen. that was a, for 11 years. I was a rough kind and came out of that. Mm. Just, like I said, been stifled. Mm -hmm. Went through another bad relationship after that. And then, so it's like coming out of that and finding who Anna is and finding Anna's voice yes. again. So. Yes. Nice. It's been a great journey. Oh, it's been a great yes. journey. I did counseling and all that. Um, it's been amazing. You know, that's saying Kofa. That. You know, I believe in that. You know, saying Kofa no. is not taboo. You, it's all right to go back and look at those things that were even negative and mm -hmm. learn something from it. Yes. And move forward. Yes. But you don't get stuck You don't there. get stuck there. That's yeah. why you got to be turned around. Get oh, that okay. Piece of knowledge back. Okay, okay. After I like that. Time, man. I like that. Yeah, you can't get stuck in your past. That's right. You can't get stuck in your mistakes. Mm -hmm. The main thing in your past, you got to learn from it. Yeah, you got to learn from learn it. From, you learn from everything in life. Yes. Especially when you're making mistakes in life. Yes. And they will make you make you unique, and they will bring out the art in you. Mm-hmm. Very That's much a good so. thing, though. You know, I can meet anybody that go through any type of abuse or anything. I don't not a uh, strong believer of uh, abuse. I don't know about this guy, this lady over here, because she always trying to attack me and Tiger. But uh, we not a, me and Tiger not a strong believer of uh, abuse. Heather don't attack us. She don't do that to us. <laughs> See, That's nice. You got the Stockholm syndrome over there. I ain't, I ain't finna say nothing on the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying nothing on the air. You know? Somebody read so, my eye signals. Yeah. Look. She, is, yeah. she don't treat us bad at all. Yeah. I gotta say this thing. <laughs> WR, disclaimer, WIFU is an open forum for the abandoned, champ abandoned champagne oh, okay. area, can, online community. Views expressed on those of those are speakers are not intended to represent WFIU, UCIMC, or abandoned social forum. 
back then we got Anna Curtis in the house and Cunningham. Anna Curtis, Cunningham in the house. She's telling her story about art and you know we having a little fun. It's, it's like something different today. We ain't really hitting no strong top, but we're just enjoying ourselves. It's really hot in here, man. Art is wonderful. Yeah, That's art is life. art. Art is the best way to express art yourself. It's great. like everything is art, from music to painting to poetry to self love or loving someone or just showing your feelings of, that you care. It's all different form of art. You know me. I'm a great artist. <laughs> I'm glad they I'm see my face. <laughs> On to the next I'm one. I'm a mentor. No. I'm a mentor. No. I talk to young men. So I'm not an artist when I talk to the young men and try to persuade them to a different it's, lifestyle. It ain't about you right oh, now. Yeah. No. Let's I'm get back I'm to it. Oh, my goodness. Um, I like that. I, I did that. some research and uh, during my undergrad, and um, I got into the art therapy type of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you think art is a great outlet for tra uh, like traumatized individuals. Definitely, definitely. Um, that's a way to get, the, it, it hurts worse when you hold everything in. Mm. So mm. it's an opportunity to let all that out and let it go. Right. Yes, definitely. Right. Definitely. Wow. I agree. Wow. I think that could be with any exp self expression, music, anything. So yeah, I yeah. definitely agree. I agree with it too. It, it is different holding something in for so long. Ooh, yeah. You gotta yeah. let that, gotta let that out, energy out. Yeah, or it destroys yeah. you. It destroys or destroy, you. Or destroy people, you. Or people around you. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. That's good good advice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like I like art. I love art, matter of fact. But um I know with research, um they were stating that traumatized younger individuals, they were able to open up to people after they had so many sessions mm -hmm. of art mm -hmm. before the therapy. Okay. You Ooh, know, that before was, the awesome. actual therapy, or they will probably do the art and mm -hmm. also ask the children certain questions. So the children were yeah. able to open up a little bit more, okay. answer those questions mm -hmm. a lot better because they feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. They feel relaxed. Yeah. With art itself. Because it's that release, mm -hmm. that release of emotion first, and then they're able to talk to you. Yep. That yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever yeah. heard of mindfulness and yeah. uh, art? Like you mindful. Read the book like that, ain't you? Yeah. That book? I, I got I'm book pulling right. it up, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, like, I'm know. just mentioning it, yeah. but it's like mindful art. So it's what everybody normally does i'm trying to scrunch over so nobody can see my dang on head but it's real big but at the same time hush art and um being mindful actually is just sitting there listening to some music mm -hmm. coloring painting whatever it may be mm -hmm. but it's almost like with therapy you can ask someone a certain question or you can tell them to paint okay. something or you can get them to actually like feel connected as mm -hmm. one and be present in okay. that moment. Okay. You know, because you have to think about what color am I gonna do next? Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. am I gonna act Right, paint? right. What can I do? And it brings us all back to that innocence, mm -hmm. that childlike mind, that mind that actually like doesn't really know about all that other bad right. stuff. Right, right. You know, that we went through, you know, but it's a great thing. I, I think art is wonderful. I wish I could paint like you. <laughs> but, you know, so that ain't me. It's a learning thing. It ain't me. You you got, got, I can do letters. You got life, you got life coach skills. You're, you're, you're I can do poor, letters. You're poor. You got, yes. you got other, you got other yeah, skills that you right. make up from. You're, you're a great artist. Thank you. It's not a great painter. In your own, it's in your own way. Oh, it's your own, shoot, it's your shot. own way. It's your own way of yes. showing, uh, uh, expressing yourself. I got to get back on the show because I think our audience going to get mad at us. Oh hush. Uh, what do you think? What, what advice would you get any woman or man or child that's going through any type of abuse to do? What good advice you'll give them. Mm. Mm. That's a tough one. Uh, talk to someone. If that, just start with talking to someone. Mm -hmm. Find somebody that you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to talk to. That helps you not lose yourself in it. Mm -hmm. Some you lose yourself in a lot of things. If you got that outlet of just somebody, one person that you trust that you can talk to, mm -hmm. just go talk to that person and help you get that out. Mm -hmm. You can't hold all that. That goes again. You can't hold that in. Mm -hmm. You destroy yourself when you do. 
What made you draw this picture? Yes, <laughs> but, great. Uh, man, that's a good that's a good thing you said. I like that what you're saying. So they talk to somebody, mm -hmm. and then once they talk to somebody, the, that's the, they'll open up to get help for that situation. You gotta have that one person that you can run to and talk to. For me, that was my mom. She's my ride or die for everything, and for everything. So is that person they talking to? Uh, Telling them what to do or just listen? It could be just somebody that will just listen to you. Everything, sometimes you don't even want, sometimes you don't want to hear what that person has to say. Sometimes it's just a vent session. Let them person get that out. Mm, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yes. I see what it you're could saying. be just a vent uh, session. Okay. That makes sense. Just need somebody to listen sometimes. Mm hmm. Because in, the, in, certain, in a lot of abuse situations, you don't feel like you're heard. Mm. Especially certain situations, you get your voice. Like I said, your voice gets taken away. Right. The person yeah. can tell you that your thoughts are stupid, or you know what you're, you're what you're doing is stupid. You need that person to reinforce that you're not. So what and you're that doing you're is and the validation is just in listening. Mm. I see what you're doing. Mm. You're building back up that power. Yes. You're getting that momentum. Back yes, because you you lose you you lose your power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You lose your power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's deep. Yeah, wow. Well, Heather talk. Know. Heather, our person well. for a lot of that. She used to talk on. She talked to a lot of women about that, mm -hmm. and that make a lot of sense. Cause I heard her say, you know. That's yes, it is, is Ava. She does the art. Of, that's a lot of things that they do. Is the, yeah, the abusers what? have a tendency to that's the lady that does the art. demean you and make yeah, you feel little. Wrong. You have to try find somebody. To listen to you, you don't. You, if you find that, you you can find your voice again. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's the that's the key to it all is just finding somebody that listens. Mm. I'm glad you found your voice. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All I right. gotta get out of this box. I'm in a box. It's <laughs> in the okay. Box now? Yes, I'm Who? trying to get out of it. What's the box now? What kind of box? You in the box? No. Yes, I, I'm. I'm trying to get out of this. Oh my yeah. goodness! The lady from the post office said hi. Aether. <laughs> Ain't this so country? <laughs> She said, hey, that's the lady who does the artwork. <laughs> Heather, tell her the lady from the post office said hi. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Aether, we love you. Yeah, okay. sometimes, sometimes a box can be good, a box can be bad. It goes both ways. It goes both ways, but, but I got to get out of, my, get out but of this thing, myself. But it's the good been thing a about it, one yes, you know you got you know to get out of it. Yes. So that's a good thing. When a person gets comfortable inside that box, that that's, will become bad. That's in the but when they know they're in the box, they gotta figure a way to get out the box. They know mm -hmm. you're working towards to get out the mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying earlier, yeah, it's sometimes you just gotta find somebody to talk to, somebody you can trust. Mm -hmm. And but for for the what, what, like for the people that can't find nobody to talk to, cause you know I I I, I did a little study on uh, domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. when I was when I was locked up, and I noticed a lot of dudes that a lot of dudes and women, cause women do it too. Mm -hmm. That do it, they they start to cut you off from your family and yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. So how do you like tell somebody to read? Re what was that term? Oh, uh, gaslight. Yeah, gaslight. Gas <laughs> That's a term. Oh my god. Gaslight. The gaslight. They get mm -hmm. the, throwing these smoke signals mm -hmm. at you. So mm. I would say even if it's just starting journaling, journaling helps a lot. Write mm -hmm. it down. Uh, as long as you get that out, you know, mm -hmm. it could just start as something as simple as a, a journal. As long as you get those bad vibes and all that out away from you and get you, even yeah. if it's written on paper for your voice to be heard, mm -hmm. put it on paper. Mm. Yeah. I know some people be scared to make that move. Some people, what they say, they Ooh. prefer, a lot of people would prefer a, a, a usual a familiar, hell, a familiar, familiar hell, hell, hell mm -hmm. over a strange hell. Yeah. For sure. And they scared to make that move. They like, well, what if I don't find nobody else? Or... They become comfortable with that situation. Well, they be, or, or or they be scared they won't get accepted, or or they be scared people look at them too. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. A lot of people, you know, it, it deal with like judgment because sometimes you might have certain girlfriends telling you something, then when it's 
you find out it's true dealing with a certain relationship, mm -hmm. and then now you feel like, dang, she was right. Yeah. Now they be ashamed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I read that too. Mm -hmm. I ain't, you know, I did a little reading. Oh shoot, Kiki doing the good today. I'm telling you, when I when I drop the ball, Kiki be rare, right? Yeah, that would that wouldn't be though. Yeah, I know that, man. I noticed that because I be seeing some really bad relationships. That's where you gotta learn to self love. Self love comes in. You gotta love yourself more than a relationship, more than anything. You gotta love yourself. And it took me a long time to get to that point. Coming from there, so. It's all about learning self love. A lot of people can't see they self love. They, they, they get lost. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then when you gotta discover yourself again, like mm -hmm. my thing in our literature, yep. is know thyself. Mm -hmm. yes. You gotta know thyself. You gotta mm -hmm. know. And then you think you know yourself, study yourself again, because always something you'll miss. Mm -hmm. you take, give yourself that opportunity. Yeah, you can take years. Or you change. Yeah. You know, over time you change. You weren't the same 30 year old, you know? You probably right. changed, and now you know. Year to pass, two, three years, you're not that same thirty year old, you know, woman or female no more. Mm -hmm. You know, you accept things differently. You don't, you know, settle. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. Your perspective you is different. You didn't did some more research <clears throat> on some mm -hmm. stuff. You didn't it's obtain a degree or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Had another baby, so um, I keep saying I it baby. all the time that like you, do the seasons change. The landscape changed. Yeah. All of that stuff changed. Lady, you we are the ones that don't like this change. Which one is this? Is she no, 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 this is all. Alcohol. Come from alcoholic. <laughs> no, yeah, self love is self love is a key. A lot of people, what she say, smart. She said, "Don't settle for nothing, not even cheap toilet paper." I'm done. <laughs> yeah, cheap toilet paper can oh cut goodness. you up a little bit when you use it. <laughs> but yeah, man, self love. Yeah, yes, yeah. but self, self love is the key. The self love is the key to anything in life that you mm -hmm. want to see. A lot of people don't have it though. How do you get it, Heather? How do you get it? Yes. It's time. Over time, you 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 uh, start to love yourself a little bit different, okay. and you start putting yourself first. Mm -hmm. And it's not selfish. Mm -hmm. This is not. Selfish. Why are you looking at me when you say that? No, I'm just saying. I'm That's trying to make sure part. my That's the hard part thing to learn. It's not selfish. Is that it's not being selfish? No, it's not. Especially when, especially for women that are mothers, you're not you're not used to putting yourself first. You learn mm -hmm. not to put yourself mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So that is a big key mm -hmm. in learning that, okay, taking time for myself is not selfish. I agree with you, honey. Yes. I agree with you a thousand percent. Yeah, yeah that's you the take hardest yeah. lesson to learn. Because, yeah. because you, I, I tell people, they tell me I ain't selfish. No, if you ain't selfish, if you don't take care of yourself, you're mm -hmm. selfish. Because how you know what you need? Somebody, I mean, how you know what somebody else needs? You can't fulfill your own needs yeah. to take care of yourself. Exactly. Right. A lot of people right. don't understand and you that. You can't love anybody else. But they, they go with that ment they go with that mentality when people read certain books. I ain't gonna say the name of the books they read it's all right. and stuff like that. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But they go that mentality mental mental thought people put in their head that you gotta love somebody else before you love yourself. Nope. Nope. So they really didn't find love. They, they found infatuation. I try to tell somebody they don't believe me. Oh, okay. Anyway, with self love, you need to also you you need to also uh, reinvent yourself too. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So change some things around in your in your uh, household, or color your hair mm -hmm. for the women. We're talking about women. Um, you can cut your hair. Mm -hmm. You start wearing uh, high heels or something. Start, you know, uh, working out. You have to reinvent yourself, and it's yeah. like over and over again. You're gonna keep doing this. But it helps. And it's hard to wear high heels. Yeah, but hey, at some point in time, I had to learn how to wear. Why? Why? Because I needed to reinvent myself. Oh, that's how I you cut know. my hair off too. Bald. I had to reinvent myself. That was like a million Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I mean, yeah, all of that stuff. All the time. Yeah. Why y'all going natural? You're not going natural. <laughs> So reinvent yourself. I mean, it it does require um, enough, you know, confidence mm -hmm. and self love. But you're seeing a lot more women 
cutting their hair off. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a lot more women doing different things because it requires some confidence. Well, mine better leave some hair. Yourself. Mine better leave some hair on their head a little bit. I don't be. <laughs> well, still somebody reinventing this. I don't have no more hair than my woman got. You know, I'm not telling everybody to <laughs> cut their hair off. Anyway, you know, you're going to. But yeah, she. I only want to rub. Let me know. Oh, I think I got a man in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> I joke at. <laughs> Your jokes is not right <laughs> at all. They're not. Yeah, keep missing questions over there, people. But yeah, you gotta reinvent yourself, though. Reinvent, yeah. yeah. Everybody, not just women. You know, everybody. You know, because so every day it's a growing process. You know what I'm saying, yeah. mm -hmm. man, woman, children. Mm -hmm. Like I was reading, I was reading some, some. It was on Facebook. You keep reading the game. Oh, that's what I do. It was on Facebook. Little girl got. Beat up, bully, and uh, act sexual assault, and one killed herself out there in New York somewhere. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah, I did. That's I terrible, did. man. Terrible. That's that's the thing she had nobody to talk to. And then my cousin, me my cousin, me my cousin had a, a long conversation one day. Got, I guess he snapped on Facebook and somebody was calling him. Man, your cousin on Facebook snapped, but he it make a whole lot of sense how these how these women be having these little kids dancing like grown folks, mm -hmm. and they wonder why these sexual predators be at them. Yeah, yeah. it don't matter. You don't, you don't have no kids growing like. No, I mean, you you let them if they doing it, you don't put it on Facebook. You let that in your that's the public setting. Everything ain't for Facebook. Right. Yeah, I agree. You know right. what I'm saying? We and know so, that. So and you we got, know who who putting it up there. You got these women that think it's cute that their kid be out there shaking their little butt and all and cussing yeah, and, and rolling that, up and drinking. Drunk. Yeah. And that's all of that. that opened up for a lot of sexual predators, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. All of it. Yes. You know, and you no, know, I can't tell anybody to raise their kids, but I this do. off the subject, but I don't get to getting on sub. I don't get to getting on uh, like Facebook and rolling up stuff, man. I don't get that. I don't understand that. I'm not getting that. Maybe you can explain. They show guns and stuff well, too now. I'm not getting that. <laughs> they they do it all. I'm they do it that. all nowadays. It's, 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 she said it's, social media is is destroying I us. Who said that? Ethan. Yeah, it's, it's destroying us and helping us too at the same time because it's over a lot of people. You no, know, that's not where people can learn some information is social media because they ain't got some people don't want to pick no book up. But yeah, but the stuff they put on social media, it is it is kind of kind of making a downfall. But it's a lot of positive stuff. And what I've been noticing lately since I've been dabbling with this Facebook thing, you get to choose what come on your page. You do. You get to choose what come on your page. So if you got all that garbage coming on your page. And what you want to snooze see. it? Exactly. Yeah. You yeah, can snooze it, it for yeah. thirty th uh, for thirty days now. Mm -hmm. You know you can snooze that stuff for thirty days. No, what you do? You get rid of the friends that got all that garbage coming on your page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do that, but you know What's if you're doing a business, you could just snooze the person for thirty days, and when they still What's pop back up, you don't like on it. Facebook that if you if somebody keeps putting things out that you don't want to see, you can like without unfriending them, you can just snooze. not see their stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. It's, okay. it's social no media is is good and bad. There's good and bad to every single thing. It doesn't matter what it is. There's always choices too. But at the same time, we're having more and more people geared towards the ignorant route of using Facebook for the wrong things. Mm -hmm. If you're using Facebook, it should be for marketing something good, and like that should be every single thing that you got going on mm -hmm. probably in your in your family or something positive, it's positive and yeah. it's showing us what to do and how to be more independent and entrepreneurs mm -hmm. but some people don't understand that mm -hmm. i just got on facebook in 2017 it's only been two years mm -hmm. and i told myself and i told facebook what i wanted to do and i'm doing exactly what i said mm -hmm. i was going I'm not posting nothing negative. Right. I want everybody to come together. Right. You know? Right. Some people aren't going to mm -hmm. do that. You know, no. and don't want to do that. No. So, you know, it's a choice. I got yeah. a question. Now, you said you posted one picture and it got 5,000 likes. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? That was awesome. That was no, awesome. That was, see, yeah. now, that's the positive. That was awesome. That was, was that other twins? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. 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 How many feeling. times did it get shared? I don't know. I didn't even look to see. I don't know. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah. I don't know, but that was just an awesome feeling. And then with her painting, you got um, two over two thousand for the one of hers and her she painted? signature. The one that I did of her. Oh, you want to do? Okay, okay. I'll yeah, she got over two. Get on Instagram. Hers. I swear. Oh my gosh. It's, that could be a big push for Ooh, you. Look, you know, mm, mm, finding your way. That could be a big push for you for the yeah. I like that, man. I like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you gotta you gotta tell them where they can find you at again. 
Where they can find you at? You gotta just let them know. Anna Kirsten Cunningham on Facebook right now. I will be doing my Instagram page, hopefully today, um, Devin. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, she got you. It's, I can I tell know. already. She, she does. Aether is something she else. I'm sorry. She, she um, said it's to show the chicken heads where the weed at <laughs> so they can get hoes. Duh. Oh, okay. She oh, my God. Right on there. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, Scotty, <laughs> <laughs> when Aether get on here, she's it. something well, else. Got some she, well, she drinking wine. She drinking wine tonight. <laughs> it's Saturday, too. Ain't no soul on Sunday. I don't hey, know. <laughs> I got it. That makes sense, Aether. Thanks. Because I was, I was just like, I don't get it. You don't have a business page either. Just no, the personal. Man. Just personal. I still got to do that, too. I got a lot to do. I got okay. a lot to do. All right. All right. Now, right. what, what benefits would she get with the business page? Um, yeah, tell us, hip us up to that. So the business page, she'll be actually able to, um, you can have a post and you can create a post two hours from now and not even be by your phone at all. Okay. You can, you know, create future posts in the future. You can also um, figure out who's watching your mm -hmm. actual page, mm -hmm. who liked it, who clicked on something, okay. whatever it may be. It has its own little al algorithms mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. you should call it. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see like if you have more people on this day, on right. that day, right. whatever it may okay. be. But okay. business page is a great um, way and the opportunity to get people to start liking, okay. you know, what you got and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry <laughs> about your personal Right, stuff, okay. You know. And do you have a name? No, that's fine. No, you just I haven't figured use your out own name. Yeah, I haven't figured that out yet. Just contact oh, well, me if you got any questions. That's all. Uh huh. So it's AK. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I usually find my artwork AKC. Yep. Like yeah. So AKC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 No, you got somebody else. Tell her to get a business page, please, and get business cards and open a P.O. box for mail. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Okay. But gotcha. I know for a fact you are going to, it's going to be overwhelming, but hey. It is at times already, but hey. it's been awesome. That's all I can say. It's you deserve awesome. it. Thank you. Thank all you. of the stuff you went through, all of the stuff, you know, that you had to, you know, like see mm -hmm. from your own two eyes. You deserve it. Thank you. I know you do. Thank you. Yep. I think that's something you got to learn to accept. That's something when somebody gaining their power back, mm -hmm. they don't feel they deserve better. Am I right? Yes. You deserve it. Yeah. That's a that's another hard lesson to learn sometimes. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, hard thing to accept. Why would they stay in that situation? Mm -hmm. They must feel like they they must be like for some reason they they feel like they don't you know they this is happening to them because. I heard one person say, maybe God punished me or something or something like that. And that's not true. That's not true. Yeah. yeah. That's not true. Yeah, that's not true. Nope. But I heard people God mm -hmm. say things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because I get people say some, they used to say some stupid what does stuff. That mean? What does that mean they say God punish you? That's what I was used to ask them. I used to be like, explain that. Sometimes a person may have made a mistake or done something in the past yeah. and they think that it's coming back to haunt them or God's punishing for something like that they've done. Yeah, karma. Yeah. <coughs> no. I used to get that. I, I used to get that. I used to go to a lot of churches, man. I used nope. to get that, man. Because yeah, they'll look at this situation. They'd be like, you know, you just believe and do this. I say, well, then I look at them. I say, well, you just believe and do what you're going to do. It ain't going to help you because still old and messed up. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Tiger, you I'm got it too, saying. don't you? I'm just saying. Ain't on the road. I'm just saying. Certain things, you know, it could be, but. Oh, she said you need to look at galleries that showcase art for free yeah. and get okay. a business name so she can get a license. Oh, Hard no, work okay. pays off. Love you, queen. Oh, oh I got another Thank one. You. She just made me think of something. Have you ever done a consignment deal with different galleries? No, I haven't even looked. She I brand looked. new. I'm new. I'm new. Brand new. Yeah. I'm new. Uh, a suggestion? Let me know. That's a good one. She said, "When you get a good, when you get a, got a clear path, mm -hmm. karma don't exist." But but what if you what if you had to do something wrong to get that clear path? That's a good one. Okay. 
I'm talking That's, eight for that one. I know you. <laughs> She be throwing some stuff out. I like it because she, so, she gets it. Yeah. With karma, with the universe, with God, the supernatural power, yeah. all of this stuff, you could be going through some things, but you always have a choice. You okay. always have a choice. So you choose to stay in that relationship. You did. You know, okay. no one really made you, but you you chose to stay in that relationship. Mm -hmm. right. You know, because you felt like you needed to, mm -hmm. regardless if you wanted to be loyal still and you wanted to still love that person. I know. But at the same time, you know, it's a choice. But that wasn't love. That wasn't love. Like no, no, said. it's not. But love. You, you you choose. You know. Okay. Yeah. If, 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 see, when you dealing with when you like you just say you dealing with when you dealing with the forces of nature, right? Because a lot of people don't believe in God. We could just say the universe. 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 Mm -hmm. So when you do doing force of the universe, right? What did that what did that one year old child do? Catch a bullet, a straight bullet. <laughs> you need to read. <laughs> I got to tell what to read. I read. Okay. I'm just saying, I've been listening to this book and it's called A Conversation with God. Oh yeah. Right? Which one? Who wrote it? Neil. Yeah. So I ain't read that one. I thought it was my interview interview. Mm -hmm. So he wrote so the secret he, to the three secrets. Yeah. Uh, he know. was basically saying and talking to God about this, where that particular innocent child did not choose to get hit. You get what I'm saying? He didn't choose to die, you know? But at the same time, he did. Mm -hmm. Whoever pulled the trigger had a choice between shooting and not shooting, you know? And there's laws that God doesn't have to really, you know, regulate because it's already in the universe. They go back to, they go back to, everybody got a choice. Everybody do have a choice. But you just said that when your baby didn't choose to get shot. So what would that one, what, what, what? Did that, did that baby want to stay? Yeah, did he have a choice to stay? No, did that baby want to stay? Maybe he didn't want to stay. How you know? Maybe the baby didn't want to see, say. See, well, I had a good conversation with Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. I, I, had a good, I, had a, I had a good conversation with Patrick Carruthers that was on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they always give that false. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know where you go when you leave here. I just believe in something. So I can't say you're going to go to heaven or hell. I don't know if it's heaven or hell or not. Anybody been there and came back and told us about it. Because I don't understand. You say you've been to heaven. Why are you going to come back? So I don't believe nobody been to heaven and been back. They come like, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe nobody been to hell and been back. Cause they say once you die, you don't come back. Unless you, you know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't dead completely. How do you know? He told me. I talked to Tiger. How do you know he wasn't? How do you know he wasn't dead, Tiger? How long was he dead? Mm -hmm. I was out. I was out. I was looking at it. I was okay, he was looking at it. It was weird. But I'm, I'm saying, but a child. I was out of the house. An innocent child. <laughs> An innocent child is born, mm -hmm. so why can't an innocent, why why do they say an innocent child automatically go to hell? Now that's something different. No, it's not. That's something different. I ain't never what? heard of uh, that Shoot, one. Shoot, I heard it all the time in church. No, that now that's crazy. So cut, no, that, and it is crazy. That's that's, the, crazy. that's the mentality that's how they raise you on, on a lot of crazy stuff. Misinterpretation right. of misinterpretation right. of the Bible. Yeah. Well, I said Bible is a daily it's a it's a daily book in the wrong hand. It is in the wrong hand. Okay. <laughs> but so <laughs> so therefore we don't know what happens to it. You know, you rather live your life right and decide you know what I'm saying? That if you do go to heaven, you go to heaven, you go to hell, you go to hell. But how do you know? Because yeah. a child don't make choices, so how how can you put a, a child on the when a child is born, he don't know about God or nothing. A child is trained about anything that goes on in this world. We as trained as we are, we always say we was coming up in the game, in, in the dope game. We always born retarded to learn how to act some slower than others. You know what I'm saying? So as you coming up as a one year old child, one year old child don't know nothing about God, right? And but therefore, why do you why why do they force one year old children to get baptized? Because you got to know what you you got to know what you, when you deal with spiritual spiritual form in the realm of, of Allah, God, the Creator, whatever you want to call him. I choose to call him Allah. You gotta know what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You gotta choose to live this path. So as you say, you christen the baby to live a righteous path. That baby don't know how to think yet. Yeah. So that's why people keep saying choice. That's why we understand when we see choices, we all develop choices on path of life. That's when the choices come in. 
You know what I'm saying? But a one-year-old has choices. No, we don't have no choices. Yes, he do. Tell me the truth, one-year-old get. One-year-old still dream. So, uh, so, uh, uh, exactly. But so, a one-year-old would give and say, Mama, give me a bed. The one-year-old uh, can make his heaven, too. So, mm, okay. They can paint a do, picture. Do, do a one-year-old ask me what give and say, Mama, baptize me? They got imagination, yes no. too. No. Yes or no. Ma'am. Yes or no. No. Go on, no. Do, do a one-year-old one what give and say, I want to read the Bible or the Quran. We're not even going that way. No, I'm not. We're okay. keeping okay. it spiritual. Okay. okay. It's all spiritual. You no, got, you got it. we're not okay, going that way. Do one year old wake up and say, I'm going to live in the flesh and I want to get high and drink? See what you started, Anna? I didn't start that. <laughs> I didn't that's start a question. That's a question. No, that's deep. Come on that. now, Kiki. That I mean, that's a question. We, we're talking. We're talking. Yeah. So, therefore, therefore, the, children still have a choice. How do they have a choice? Listen, I, I, was, I, was, I was talking to this kid. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to this guy, right? He, he always doing this every yeah. single yeah, every we, single show. Let's get back to him. Where is on Anna? Cause we all it's all formed to the choices. Yeah. So I was talking to this cat man, in Rhode Island. He ain't never seen a brother. Yeah. Never seen a brother. He's preaching. Everybody told him all brothers are bad. Asiatic man is bad. Asiatic man is this. You know the first thing that man said. Mm -hmm. A Caucasian man crossed before an Asiatic man crossed. So he taught that. Mm. If he never met us and went to the joint and met other people that don't look like him, he'd have been living that perception like a, like they uh, raised the young races. They like remember a long time ago, but I, I do have common sense for yourself. That's how when you know when people teach you some some wrong, because think about it. In the slavery days, they didn't want you to drink behind them, go use their bathroom or nothing, but they let our women breastfeed their children. Think about that. I thought we was talking about choices. We're talking about choices. All this going to choices. You, you, right? You, my, my point is, my point is, you develop choices as your life goes on. That's fine. That's all That's I'm saying. Cool. But so, so if you, you give a you. little kindergartner a piece of paper and some, we're gonna, I'm gonna tie it back to art and some crayons, they got choices, right? Gonna, what are they gonna paint? They gonna they gonna scribble something. They what don't they know what they paint. paint? Yeah. So what? So that's true. They, 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 they got imagination, them. though. But why would they paint? Because you gave it to them. How to do, do they it. have the imagination? Will, will a child Where pick, does it come from? Will a child pick up a Will a child pick up a paper, piece of paper and start writing without you telling them to do it? Yes. Y'all gave me a question. I got a question. Yes, they the will. Island. Wait, because I got a question they are the curious. Well, you said drawing, though. I ain't saying I'm the I ain't scribble about, drawing. You said art? That, see, don't see, no, see, that's art. <laughs> no, here's a question. Here's a question for Anna. It's Anna, art. What age did you start then? What age did you start expressing yourself? Because you see, I believe you had it already, then you lost it in a minute, but then it, it found itself back. Mm. So Ooh, what that, age? I'll take that back to my hey, dad. Hold it, hold okay. it. I got, I got to get the disclaimer. Okay. Sorry, Go ahead. Got disclaimer. she got me going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> disclaimer, I got to read the disclaimer. It's constant, community, it's constant community connection for the community. And this is our WFIU is an open forum for the Urbana Champagne community. Views expressed are those of the Speaking are not intended to represent WFU or USC, IMC, or a brand Socialist Forum. Basically, saying what I'm saying is my views, my points, and got nothing to do with champagne or brand. <laughs> right. You just do your own research and think I'm telling the truth or just ride what I say. If it sounds oh, good. look at you. Right, now, we Go, put this on Anna. We put this on because y'all said when they got choices, right? Yeah, you have so choices. When, when, when did you start expressing uh. yourself? These things usually just don't occur. They usually be there and then they disappear. Mm -hmm. Then they come back. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I used to, like I said, I'll doodle cartoons, whatever. My father was a big inspiration. Um, he would do still art. He could take a, a piece of wood, a butterfly, and a dandelion, and he would shellac it and make it look like the butterfly would land it on a dandelion. What? Yes, really? he was cold like that. Ooh. And he would give me the bag of the same things and see what I would do with it. Yeah, so, wow. he, so was, he was doing he that was very, as a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, so was he was very inspirational. Exactly. He was trying to the mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where, <laughs> that's where that came from. <laughs> that's where that came from. That was deep, man. That was deep. So your father was the one who was training your brain My cousin, mm -hmm. to think outside the box mm -hmm. or to manipulate things into patterns that mm -hmm. you like. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh. mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my mother, my grandma, both my grandmothers, 
We lived across the street from each other on Madison Street, um, 533 and 604. So I go across the street to my see my dad and my uh, Ned side of family. And my grandma, my, my mom and her family was across the street. Yeah, Madison. Where is it? 604 East Madison, now by Cage Barbecue in Danville, Illinois. Oh, okay. Okay. So you've been there. You were originally for Danville. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So and uh, used to go across the street and he'd have all kinds of stuff laid out um, from the, uh, is it balsam wood? The little thin yeah, wood yeah. and exacto knives and stuff mm, and see if we could yeah. be what we could build that day. He always had something going on. Wow. You got some beautiful energy about that. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, wow. She does. She does. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Are you going to explore that too though? Or probably yeah. just building yeah. things and stuff. Oh, I've mm -hmm. done that before. Um, okay. I build my own platform bed and my own headboard. I, if if I can figure out how to do it myself, I'll do it myself. Be around the house doing stuff like yeah, all the time. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. All the time. That's I'm trying great. to teach. Teaching yeah. myself how to reupholster furniture. Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. I did the bar stools for Studio 25 when it first opened up. Um, oh, wow. They're just, any, I love anything hands-on. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You do awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I do have a question. Mm -hmm. So I know for a fact that my mom, she was doing like arts and crafts, this art. Mm -hmm. Do you always think about what you can make out of something? All the time. Is your mind just it's like all going, the time. going, going, Yeah, it's all, all the time. time. It's a constant thing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Inspiration is constant. Um, even from just scrolling Facebook pages, my phone is full of ideas and different mm -hmm. ideas. I love to decorate too. Mm -hmm. So that's been a thing too. Um, uh, singing when I was younger, keep that on the low though. But, okay, um, okay. <laughs> All right. She's a little All right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get, when you said the box, speaking of box, right. just putting yeah, yourself in the box. box. I, ha I need to push myself out of the box. Okay. Well, because I have a lot of different talents. You ain't got no room in the box. I got a lot of different talents that I no would monitor. love to explore, but I'm holding myself Yeah, because you all that time, you ain't no room in that box. You got uh, <laughs> to uh, either make the box bigger or just go home. <laughs> I redecorate. Put, yeah, 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 redecorate. Or put it to the side, <laughs> one or two. I don't yes. know. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. I said, that. no, she didn't make the earrings. No, yeah, I didn't make them. Thank you. I didn't make them. You want some? I know somebody make them. You want some? <laughs> powerful, yeah. Danville old, overrated, she said. Underrated. Got a, underrated, sorry. Oh, there's a lot got of talent. Got a lot yeah, of they, talent. They, they, they got that young lady, what that there's name, a, Kelsey out there? There's Danville. a lot Kelsey. of talent yeah. in Danville. There's this guy. His name is uh, Chris Hightower. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. He's a comedian. You know him? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's Tom Abel. Shout out to Christian. And Nick, Pace Beats, and my son, your Diggs Beats. We got a lot of different. Uh, oh, your son do beats? Yes, yes. Amazing. Yeah, plug so. Man, they better plug them. They, they better plug them. Yeah, he has a Facebook page, your Diggs, Y A D I G G Z. He told me to give him a shout out. Okay. <laughs> Very okay. Cunningham. Should, yes. he watch, is he watching you, listening to you? He should be, yes. Yes, you support okay. you like that. You get oh, shots Of course. Out. Of course. My kids are very supportive. Okay, yeah. They're very you know, supportive. Now I gotta wait for Grayson to find her again so I can. That's so all right. Can, uh, okay. I can, sleep. I can go sleep all day then. <laughs> yeah, she's the nursing of the Oh, she's doing yeah. nursing. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not. CMA. not she's sure. working I'm there. CMA, so. She's working what? towards it. Yes. Keep going. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a been another. You, 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 you got a long way to go. I know. Yeah. She got a given soul. Great. She got that from her mother. Great. You, you young. Yes. She got that given energy, man. Just that. What that plus of dominance, your bass? What the hey, heck? Plus, hey. <laughs> I had to give a shout out to him too. He is oh, a, a, Aaron Wilson. A, oh, a, a plus. A plus. plus. He's supportive. He's my supportive a friend. Plus. Yes. Man. And I will be auctioning off a, a painting uh, at the Soul on Sunday this month. So, yeah, I got to give a big shout out to him. Shout out to A plus, man. A plus. That's my guy out there. Man. Yes. I grew That's up. Right. Man. That's right. That's right. He's doing positive things. Yes. yes. You know, yes. a lot of people talk about it. He's doing it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Hey, and we forgot to mention about the basketball thing that's going on out there with uh, Slow. Can you yeah, talk to the Speaking of positive said? things, man. Uh, uh, I don't know too much about it. Uh, there's yeah. a basketball time going on uh, for the Rantoul. youth, Rantoul. Yeah. A brother, Kevin Williams, yeah. better known as Snow, having a tournament. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that's another brother that's out there doing positive things. See, we got to support these things. Um, and we got to come around. Next, you know, next dance Saturday. Therapy. We got to come therapy. around, man. Got dance therapy right. coming up next ther next Saturday. You want to no, no, stop the violence? Now. Support this it's type next of activity. Saturday. That's what you do. Yep. We do more of this and less of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's how you start the violence. Do more of that and less of that. Yeah. That's start not violence get, in the start, studio, too. Start getting involved instead of just talking at these kids. Get involved with them. That's right. I man. got a couple more questions. Do you do all your paintings at home in your garage or do you have a studio yet? Or? No, I don't have a studio yet. Right now it's just at home. Um, yeah, uh, in the front room. <laughs> uh, we'll be working on a, a smaller little a little area for myself soon. Um, moving to something bigger a little bit. So, yeah. Right now, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Man, I want to work with you on a project. I would yes. love to. We I need really to would get love some to. Big, look, I got we get I got a garage. We can put some big cameras up. I want to do some. I would love to, and I would love to learn how to airbrush, seriously. Okay. Definitely. Okay. We're going to tie up. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yes, definitely. Yeah, let's do something definitely. before it get cold. Oh, yes, definitely, yes. Right now, <laughs> it's nice in that garage. And I got big trees around, so you got it's cool. We can, okay. We can okay. spray all night. Okay. You, what you listen to? What time? I listen oh, to I listen uh, to everything. I'm everything. Person. I want to do something soulful, <laughs> so we're going to have to listen to some... Uh, Frankie Beverly. Yeah, Frankie Beverly, some of that yeah, Isley yeah. Brothers, some of that that's stuff. Fair, that's cool. Then we'll put the speakers on and put the lights, and I got to get a screen for it, so we don't okay. get bit up by all the mosquitoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I look forward to that. That would be Great. very nice. Be I have cool. another question. Uh, Future-wise, what's your plan? Ooh. <laughs> Three years, maybe five years, that's you know, what, what's your plan, maybe like business-wise, where you hmm. see yourself? You know, I've been thinking on the several different opportunities. Um, I don't know which way to go yet, personally. Got to pray on that and figure my way. Um, I do want to have a do an art show, hopefully next year. Okay. Um, put myself out there a little bit more. Uh, also, been thinking about hosting or doing some type of paint sip activity somewhere uh, on a regular basis. Um, mm. Would love to do that. Hopefully, uh, start working on uh, maybe a singing CD eventually. I would love to do something in that area also. What type of so, singing? What you doing? R and B? What you uh, doing? Uh, what? What gospel? What? what I doing? say more in the R and B realm. I okay, say. that's good. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm more there. Ada told us tell you tell her I said she got it. Let it shine. Don't be shy. Your mm -hmm. energy. Her energy got her. She will make it far. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Who inspired you to sing? Like, who, who would you compare your style to and who inspired you? That's a two. That's a tough that's a one. I, love paint. I bet you do love painting and silk. Hey, I got you, Aether. I had one. My friends took me yeah. out for a surprise one. Uh -huh. So those are fun. Um, inspiration. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, who would you I'm compare your style to? Who would you say you sing? You want to sing something for us now? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Right. No. <laughs> she said no. She I'm sure like. Uh, she should. I'm like. Uh, I love Jill, of course. That's all my, right. Jill Scott sure. girl. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very definitely a Jill Scott girl. Yeah. Um. Right now, um. There's a group called, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's Lives. I'm very into them. They're really nice. Laid What's back sound. Lives. Very laid back sound. Mm -hmm. I love them. Okay. No, um, no. Okay. Let's see. I like all kinds of stuff, though. Okay. So, inspiration. I like two chains. No, go ahead. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. Just India kidding. is nice. Uh, let's see. Just. There's so many that I listen to. I right. just like all kinds of music. Okay. okay. All right. All right. I'm not really. That's what I'm out of the box on that. I love classical. Yeah. I love Yo Yo Ma. I love all kinds of stuff. Man, I so. like all that too. See, I listen to all that. I listen. I listen to everything. Yeah, you might get in my car and if, hear some if, Led if, Zeppelin or anything. Yeah. Go way yeah. Back I'm and a Coldplay fan, definitely. Yeah. So I, I mean, come back and play some of the the baby. 
I know he was. I know he was the last week. Uh, baby, yeah. I was listening to Charlemagne the God. Yeah. I listen to that anymore. I like, man. I like, I like yeah, the music. Yeah, I'm just listening to me. You know it. I get around. Have a, I listen. Man, I'll tell you, I'll go way back and come way forward again. <laughs> then I go on the underground. You be like, I ain't oh, never heard this song, but I like this song. You always say you should have drove up somewhere. Find just out show up. Uh, artists on YouTube and stuff and start listening just to show up. Yeah. And then where it lead, takes you to somebody else. I yeah. love stuff like that. Yeah. 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 That's how you get that's how you get motivated to do yeah. your do your painting. Yeah, that so, too. So do you put music do you put music on when you paint or a lot of time, Yeah, a lot of times I do. I'm a headphone person, so block everything out, put yeah. headphones on, listen mm -hmm. to it. What what yeah. you prefer? What do you prefer to paint to? Oh, like I said, right now, I'm in my live stage or live stage, however you call it, however you say their name. So I listen to that. Um, okay. Oh. You got Ari, to Ari Lennox. No. No. <laughs> you drink? I do sometimes, but not really. I can tell when you asked that question, you didn't really she drink. Don't. She don't. Like, like, like you got she a, she like, like a fit when you said that. No, I can tell. I'm not, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, not a drinker. You can tell how she reacts like, I'm not no, a drinker she got, like, she got, so like, gotta, do you really say that? No. <laughs> Well, what do you need? What else do you need then? You need your music, music, and just mm -hmm. music and inspiration. That's it. Okay. Um, for yeah. my, that's my little focus right there. Look, uh, I'm not gonna laugh at you because after the second beer, I'm like usually leaning <laughs> over my wheelchair or something, or slumped over. Something. I can't drink. Oh, you drink? Uh, I can't. I, I, I don't just, know. I used to pour a couple back back in my day, but I don't drink. Yep. Me too, man. I can't. I just, you know. I, just, I think I got all that out in my teenage years, and now it's like, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Now I like a little drink every night. Anyway. Yeah, that's cool. Not too much. Yeah. It's that she was drinking enough for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Crown Royal. Ice. She, she, she ready for that painting sip. She'll be the first one. <laughs> we, was talking, we, we was talking about that last year. We, uh, we Heather, it. it's we coming. Don't. We got one coming. It's coming. We, do we it. said we're talking about doing something together. like that. Yeah. That would yes. be nice. So yep. we might as well combine with you here. I think that'd be awesome. That would be fun. Because yeah. we. This is my first one and actually seeing how things, how they put things together. I was paying attention. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shoot, you going to make your own twist anyway. You're very creative. Of yes, of course. You got to. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. Yeah. Got to, well, that's a, got that's to change a it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they're becoming very popular too. Uh huh. Yeah. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they did have, they had a studio here that did that. Oh, regular. Okay. I forgot the name of mm -hmm. it, but they had to close down. Oh wow. You know, yeah. so it's like that wasn't it? I don't know where. Yeah, somewhere in Lincoln Square. We do something. Lincoln Square. It was oh, somewhere, wow. and they mm -hmm. were. They're pretty popular, but they couldn't keep their doors open. Oh, wow. You know, but okay. it, was, it was nice. You, you know, got to have good advertising. Like it can't do with advertising, too, man. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're doing. Yeah, you got to know what you're doing. It's um, it's craft. <laughs> hey, she said, make sure you send me the invite to the painting silk. We we will. We we will. <laughs> we talk about doing the painting silk, man. Last year we gonna gotta get yep. together. Yeah, for the yep. women. I mean, but I only see it could women. Be both. I got it a couple guys. Both. I got a couple guys go to Chicago and do it. Oh yeah, yeah. it yeah. could be both. My man Dre and uh, and my man uh. Cause you get to choose what you wanna mm -hmm. wanna paint, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you just having time. Oh, you duck. Get options too. My man Dre and Duck go up there. Okay, paint okay. okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. They I know. I always know women to do that. Duck from Danville. Right. Duck what real name? You, you I don't see the women. Yeah, you okay. normally see the women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the but yeah. I go there. I seen the something <laughs> like where they couples go, mm -hmm. you know, and attend and they stuff like that. that. But mm -hmm. you know, we coming up on our year in July, so we got some things, you know, that yeah, we're gonna okay. do. So I'm thinking about I'm it. Going and getting it together. In July. So. Oh man, that is big. Yep. Man. So yeah, yeah. yeah it's 25th and 28th. Yeah, been there. Oh hush, that's. Keep it, keep it on, keep it together. Y'all been said, all. We're gonna make a co -ed, Okay, we're gonna make a co ed sipping, sipping no, paint. That'd be nice. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, really it gonna be nice. open the door for everybody. I'm gonna get we drunk. Gonna, we ain't gonna be limited. Uh, drunk, man. Lean on somebody's shoulder. Uh -uh. That's up they pain. Nuh uh, look at you. Yeah, I already got plans, man. Yep, I got <laughs> you, Aether. That's how my evening ended on that one. Oh, indeed. Yes, <laughs> they had all kinds of stuff with that one. 
What they was I doing do? mixed drink, me, uh-huh. drinking mixed drinks and all kinds of stuff. It wasn't just wine. They uh-huh. had all kinds of stuff. Mm. And you found yourself leaning on somebody. I, I was leaning on my girl. I was like, wait a minute. I got to go down boy- these steps. All your boyfriend. Uh, uh, no. See, don't that, that, yeah, she, I'm don't getting, mind take her. This off. Don't mind her okay. at all. Yeah, Aether. Well, it's getting close to that time, but um, mm. w- any other questions? Man, I just, any other questions? I don't, I don't have any more, man. I mean, I'm just, I'm loving her energy, and uh, I love her. I work. got some more questions for you, but you ain't gonna like them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. We ain't gonna go up in that. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna, I wanna go, I wanna we gonna stay with Adam. Uh-huh. We're gonna stay with that. <laughs> we wanna say again where they can find it at. Mm-hmm. Anna Kirsten, Cunningham on Facebook. I will be making a business page and an Instagram page, so I will keep that. I will let Heather know and let everyone know, so I can put that out there. Yep. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we're going to put so somebody amazing. to work back here. So amazing. <laughs> so it was nice having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And then your first time, you know, you did great. Thank and you. this is probably just one of many yeah. that you will have Thank in the future. You, you know, uh, artists make a lot of money nowadays, especially since you have the Instagram and the internet. Mm-hmm. You, uh, That one guy, he just... Uh, was incarcerated not too long ago mm-hmm. and he just got out to where even artists coming home mm-hmm. from you know oh, being yeah. locked up all yeah. these years they have an opportunity to feel like one of us mm-hmm. and yeah. feel like they have the same opportunity as us right. and they can sell their stuff mm-hmm. they very can right. you know yeah. present it That's and why show I say it the market is open yeah. oh, it's very open you know? like that dude that was in a joint John Wayne was John Wayne Gangster in Illinois who won, who won, who uh, Syracuse, yeah. He was paying. He was paying. He was making good money. He, he was making good money before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't made nothing now. Yeah, but, but he was making good money. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, the prison was. They said the prison was robbing them, taking more money than what they mm-hmm. was gonna pay, selling paper. But he only get so much mm-hmm. amount. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's money out there, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta stay got, motivated. You got sites too, like Etsy, Redbubble. Yeah. You know about Redbubble? I haven't tried Redbubble yet. I looked into Etsy. What's that? Ripple. Red bubble. Nah, not ripple. <laughs> <laughs> not ripple, but red bubble. Red bubble is good for artists, man. Okay. It's, it's real good. You'll like it. Okay. I had to I need to look into more some more stuff. And too. you could and okay. I'm gonna tell you something else you can do. You can get your art like on printful. That's what I wanna there. do. That's what I need to do. Okay, we're gonna change I, I got, need to do that. I got that set up through Red Sea. Okay. And going through but you could you could take your designs and upload okay okay and i didn't know that because i've been having Tiger people ask me consulter on ask me different See, things, man, many things and i want to i would love to do that okay i'm waiting on my samples to get here then we're gonna get some we're gonna make yeah, heather yeah. take some pictures and stuff okay we got some things going on oh and then heather just reminded me i gotta get that that thing out of a trunk this, uh, this person had the title. No, I'm no shoot. But, uh, <laughs> Last time y'all said I was drinking. Now you're talking about I got no, people in no, the trunk. No. Heather wouldn't do that. Wink. It's all right. Heather it's is all right. a sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. It's okay. Wink, wink. Kiki says That's psych. why in July ain't nobody gonna be on the show because oh. Heather ain't doing her job. Oh, that's cold. Mm-hmm. Show like it's hot second. Oh, shoot. We love Heather. Yeah, yeah. I guess, man, we got five Thank minutes you. out, and Thank I you. say, give us a positive. Yeah, Anna, yeah, we got. Yeah. Anna, give us a positive note to go on for the weekend. Yeah, the you the and then Anna <laughs> gonna end it with a positive. <laughs> oh note. goodness, she like y'all. Positive. Y'all put me on the spot. Yes, yeah, self love yes. is the best love. Get it together, y'all. All right. You already hit. You already hit first. Self love right. is the best love. <laughs> Kiki needs to reinvent itself. <laughs> Ooh, that's a swipe. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, we uh, some blows going on here. I'm gonna stay out of this fight. Mm. Hey, man. You going with us tonight? We, we going to Karen uh, uh, Ammons. Oh, that's what I was. We going to Karen Ammons thing or whatever her birthday. Uh, do you do a lot of networking and stuff? I need to get out there. What are you having today? Okay. Okay. Get out. okay. Uh, Everybody else. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What time? Okay. All right. Already. All right. They got free food? Okay. Yes. Yes. I will do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'm, you. I'm new to the networking, too. Um, but I know uh, for happy, a fact. Happy birthday to Carol Ammons. Yes. Yeah. Carol Ammons State Rep. Man, that lady, she's doing a lot. Her and her husband, Aaron Ammons. But back on you, Anna. Go yes. ahead. Yes. 
So with the networking stuff, I'm new to it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I know I have to open up my mouth mm -hmm. to let people know who I am, mm -hmm. where I'm coming from, what I do, mm -hmm. and you know, you never know who you're gonna meet. Right, exactly. You know? Yeah. And then for them to even say like, oh, maybe one day we can donate. Oh, right, right, perfect. right. You know, and that'd be amazing. Okay. I know one thing for sure. We need a art center, community center, something yeah. for the minorities in the black, brown community. We need that. Well, shout out to, to Pastor, uh, what's his name? Uh, Crutches? Crutches. Crutches, yeah, he's out trying to make that happen. Step program? Right, step program. Uh, Maurice and them and uh, Josh, they working with him. They trying to really make this happen. So let's get behind them brothers and support these brothers. Hey, if somebody could purchase just the warehouse, that's all you need. That's all you need. Okay. Oh, purchase a, a warehouse and get some paint and some whatever else and then get a camera. There you go. Two different things you can possibly do. Mm -hmm. Have people shooting YouTube videos, showing people yeah. how to market, yeah. showing mm -hmm. people how to do different stuff with the camera and how to just do that technical stuff. But at the same time with the art, you can do paint on any and everything nowadays mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. sell it. Yeah. You right. know? Because yeah. a lot more people aren't even shopping at Bergner's anymore. It's no, cold. Man. People yeah, are not shop, shop, uh, shopping at all these other stores because they're closing down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that middle person is gone, so now we have an opportunity right. to start selling yes. our own T-shirts yeah. now. Right. You know, yeah, and everybody so. are really, they're right. really liking that original mm -hmm. and independent um art mm -hmm. what's on people's shirt mm -hmm. let alone if someone actually you know drew it yeah so, yeah. yeah very much yeah. so and I and agree. i like how your art i like what your art uh i like what it suggests it speaks like they say a picture is a thousand words mm -hmm. yours is two million oh thank you i like how you hit the light especially on the couples i like the couples i like the one with the daughter thank you and uh you you capture their essence you can tell that's they, what I push they got for that puppy love. Mm -hmm. what you say, that yeah. puppy love. Yeah. I push for my emotion in those. Yeah. So I really, yes. that's what I love to capture. Yes. That's that's what you get when you're younger, man. Then when you get older, you be talking about, I, I don't trust you. Get away from me. Yeah, get away from it's me. It's hot. No. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Why are you calling me now? Nah, mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're younger, you be like, I love you. Can I be around you? You be around each other all day. <laughs> man, sh after a while, you be like, when you leaving? <laughs> when you get older, you be like, you here all day. No. <laughs> But uh, no, nah, but uh, I like what you said. That's a positive statement. Mm -hmm. Kiki, you got something positive there? Man, I can't beat that. Self love is best love. Self love is best beat love. That. Love is the key to everything in life, man. We start off saying love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, man. So yeah. with those five core principles of life, you can't go wrong, especially starting off with love, man. Amen. On that, I'm going to leave that alone because Kiki said it all right there. But that was it. You got it. Hopefully Kiki will come in here next week, <laughs> reinvent it, ready to go. I'm going to send you to rehab. <laughs> Kiki getting cut off. I am reinvented. Real soon. <laughs> oh, you going to cut my man off. Oh, he going to get cut off real soon. Oh, I ain't even put the secret out there. That boy ate the key closet. He said she got that crown well waiting on you. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. Yeah, man. Whatever. We, we, we out of here, man. No, thanks for listening tonight. Anna, Whatever. Anna, Kirsten, Cunningham, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Go to our Facebook page. Yes. She got a business page, Instagram coming up real soon. Yes. Support the sister. We're going to, uh, when our painting get good, we're going to put it on Facebook so y'all can see our work yeah. of us. Yes. We're going to have her do a painting of us three, constant community connection. Support her. Mm -hmm. And just stay positive. Stay safe this weekend. Stay cool. You ain't got no air. Go to YMCA. Still there. Get a membership. <laughs> Get a membership. Peace. Stay out. We out. All right, y'all. Oh, my goodness. You can press those red buttons. And that is right. Everything all down. Yeah, there you go. The no, button. press the stop. He got it. Yep. There you go. What does it say? Stop. You want to stop recording? Yeah. Yep. Go. Press the red buttons and then drag it all the way down. You had it all the way down. Yeah. Oh, I took out the sound. We got to get this up, right? Mm-hmm. You ain't had the mics down. Heather. I just turned the mic down when you told me the first time. Oh, okay. Heather. Kill your seed. We out. What did you say? We love y'all. Appreciate what you do. We love y'all, too. Yep. Yeah.
It'll be one year, man. One year real soon. Another 